Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. Yes, it is Atomic Shop brought in a new item, which is actually pretty insane. So as always, when I rush through the Atomic Shop each and every Tuesday, I do sometimes miss bits, and this time I actually missed a really important factor. This is a new generator set that's been added in to Fallout 76, and if you actually read the description properly, these actually mention that these generators radiate power in a radius around its location. You get four different variants. You've got the Fusion, Large, Medium, and the Small, and these are all four different variants there. But the really cool factor is these generate power in a radius around its location and from the comments I've seen from you guys these are actually pretty overpowered and well not overpowered but very very useful in the fact that you don't really need to wire anything because the radius is so large so let's dive in and check them out all right so welcome to the test of all tests we have 12 foundations wide this is the entire proximity of the camp radius and to show how powerful they actually are i've got 12 hopefully uh, pineapple trees or palm trees whatever you want to call them all lined up in the middle of each foundation so as you can see there you go that's in the middle 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 and all the way along what i'm going to do is i've got a conduit basically right here and i'm going to put down a fusion generator wire it up and then see how many of these light up and that will show us the kind of radius and the power of the fusion generator so if we go on to generators let's have a little browser here we'll place that down like that and then connect the wire like so now this should light these up and as you can see the ones that's going yellow are lit up so we've only got two foundations wide on these literally this will be the edge right here so we'll go back and build mode you can see that's the edge of that foundation it does not go over to the third now this should be probably relatively similar if we change it to say a large generator so let's change it to a large wire it up hopefully yeah that's us good two again doesn't go to the third now if we get rid of that completely i'm not going to test each and every one because they're all going to be relatively the same and then what i'm going to do is use the new generators now i don't actually know where these are stored yet oh hang on all right okay so it's just the end so this is the utility box uh generator the fusion one right okay but what I'm going to do first, just for testers, just because I'm really interested to see how powerful the small one is. This is the weakest generator. So, it says that it radiates energy. So now if I put this down in the dead center of this foundation, come out of build mode, how powerful is it? So it's actually only too wide again. So, this is interesting, because I've been told that the fusion generator is mega powerful. So the small one isn't. But the positive is, it doesn't require any wiring. So obviously when you build a camp, you normally have to run wires. So let's say if this was the camp, you'd run a wire from there all the way along every, say, two foundations to get the power going across because that's how much power it usually is, if I'm not mistaken. So now if we go down to this bloody thing, I don't know what to call it, we'll put this in the middle. Let's have a browser. So we now have one two three four five six foundations wide and bear in mind this is on the edge so let's just say right we'll change this all right let's say we store that and then what i'm going to do is go back to lights put down another palm tree so now we literally if you look at the camp radius we've got the edge of the camp radius there it goes all the way along to the last foundation right over here so it's a full camp radius now if we work out the middle we've got one two three four five six the middle is going to be about there i think uh three six yeah something like that so, somewhere around here i think this is the middle one right here so if we f just get rid of this one and then go back to generators and we put down the fusion generator let's say this is the dead center of the camp itself right lit up 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 all that's lit up and all of them's lit up. This is actually mad. So this single generator placed in the center of your camp radius powers the entire camp. So just to test it even further, it's lit up. It's got power. <laughs> this actually does the entire camp radius. This is absolutely mad. And for some reason, you can also use wires just if you want to be awkward. I mean, I don't know why, why you would. If someone could explain that to me I mean, oh then again actually no some items do require to actually have a wired connection don't they so yeah it makes sense um but yeah edge lit up all of them's lit up as you can see the little yellow i don't know what you'd call it just a glass light maybe um all of them's lit up this one generator powers an entire camp that's insane 
Let me know what you think about this down in the comments. I'm pretty impressed. This is an extremely great addition for camp builders. Just think, you could hide this thing. You could merge it underground if you really wanted, if you really didn't want to see it. I don't think the looks of it are bad by any means. I think it looked quite cool in like a storage area in your camp or something like that. But it's insane. The fact that this reaches all of the way is mad. Yeah, let me know down in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed this little test and experiment. And yeah, if you did, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.